Choose a scholar who's living your life, in your land, in your culture and society. In my humble opinion, I feel very passionately about this. One of the biggest problems of all of our, these movements, and that has caused Islam to not spread as well as it should, was that we outsourced our fatwas to back home. As if only those scholars are the ones who know our situation. But the fact of the matter is that those people, with all respect to them, they're great for their societies. They know their societies. But you cannot get a fatwa about living in a secular democracy from somebody who's never lived in a secular democracy. You cannot get a fatwa about how to interact with your homosexual neighbor when a person has never met a person who's a homosexual in his life. There has to be a human element, experience. Wisdom, most of it comes from life, not from books. Take this as a rule of thumb. Most wisdom comes from living and not from reading books. You see the reality of what you're saying and you say, no, that can't be right. So in my humble opinion, my advice to you, look local, find ulama and there are ulama, alhamdulillah. There are scholars here in Detroit, there's so many alims. Go to people in other communities, but look to people who are living here. And the fact of the matter, when you outsource, they don't have the context. Don't outsource to Bangalore or to Timbuktu or to Saudi Arabia. Find people who are understanding your own situation. Look locally, don't outsource back home. فضيلة الشيخ وفقكم الله هذا سائل من أمريكا يقول يقول في أمريكا عندنا شخص دائما ما يقول بأن العلماء في هذه البلاد لا يعرفون أحوال المسلمين في أمريكا فمن أجل ذلك لا نقبل فتواهم ويكرر هذا ما نصيحتكم في ذلك وما توجيهكم يعلمون العلم الذي أنزله الله ويفتون بالحلال والحرام والحلال والحرام في أمريكا وفي غيرها في كل الأرض الحرام حرام في كل مكان والحلال حلال في كل مكان والعالم يفتي أهل الدنيا بالعلم النافع وهذا تخذيل اللي يقول الكلام هذا تخذيل ويريد أن يفصلكم عن علمائكم نعم فلا تقبلوا من هذا الكلام نعم